What's up everybody? It's been a while since I uploaded. However, in the words of the greatest Formula One driver of all time, I've been gone, now I'm back. So what we're doing today is installing this bad boy right here. This is the just released uh, 271 master cylinder brake brace. What this is, it's a very simple part. Uh, basically it's an upgrade to their uh, strut bar, which I already have installed on the vehicle. And it'll give you much better uh, brake pedal feel on their hard braking. This sits right up against the master brake cylinder. Um, so these cars from factory, they have a lot of firewall flex if you're on their hard braking. So if you're in autocross or in a track event or maybe uh, an emergency situation on the street. Uh, so once you have this installed, it'll eliminate that firewall flex. So you get much better brake feel. That being said, let's get right into it. So uh, first things first, obviously I already have the uh, strut bar installed. So I gotta go ahead and take it off, attach the uh, brace and then put it back on. Obviously, if you're getting both uh, parts at the same time, you wanna attach the brace before you install the bar. So let me get that done right away. And then I'll show you guys how to attach the brace to the strut bar. All right, folks, and to remove the strut bar, you wanna grab your ratchet and a low profile 14 millimeter socket, just like we used um, on the original install. Let's take care of that right now. All right, so now that we have the uh, strut bar off of the car, all we gotta do is attach the uh, brake brace to the bar with these uh, little bolts that are included with the package. Let's take care of that right now. All right, and now that we got the brace snugly attached um, to the bar, we're ready to install it. However, one one little note that I, I do want to make a, a comment on. If you look at Vincent's instructions um, for the installation, there seems to be some sort of holes that you're supposed to um, un unclip. Uh, however, that was on a 1.5 turbo engine. This is a, a sport with 2.0. I don't see anything that will have any sort of clearance issues with this uh brace installed so that that might be just a, a 1.5 uh turbo thing so again i don't see any uh clearance issues so i'm just gonna go ahead and uh and put the strut bar back on i'll show you guys um what the finished fitment looks like all right folks and just like on the original install you want to grab your torque wrench set it to 55 foot pounds grab your 14 millimeter socket and put the strut bar back on All right, so uh, I had to take a little bit of a, a stop from installing the bar because I made the dumbest mistake. Uh, so after I had put on the uh, the strut bar in the car, I realized that the brake brace I didn't install it the right way. I didn't put the um, the washers on the uh, on the inside. I put them on the outside so it wasn't a snug fit. So I went to uh, I took off the strut bar, and as I was removing the uh, brake brace, I dropped one of the flange nuts in the intake box. So uh, I had to run to Lowe's, get another knot, and now we're back. Let's uh, finish up the install. So this is my super professional way of preventing uh, myself from dropping another one of these down the intake box. Let me get this uh, 
back in the strut bar and um, we'll finish it up and I'll give you guys some driving impressions. All right, guys, uh, another quick note. Um, you want to make sure that this part right here, I'm not sure what it's called, but um, you want to make sure that this is out far enough um, before you put the bar back in. Because if you if you see, I mean, it's uh, kind of back there and hard to reach. So it's, it's a pain in the ass um, to have to adjust it once the strut bar is installed in the car. So make sure you bring this out far enough. Um, if, if you notice, I, I don't know what this is called, but it, it kind of twivels so you don't have to worry about it facing the right way just make sure that this is out far enough and this uh, nut right here is tightened before um, you put the bar back in the car all right folks and there she is all installed let me show you all nice and snug no play whatsoever um, and again this is the 2.0 engine so there's no holes clearance issues um the brace does uh touch up against this reservoir but that's not an issue um so yeah there it is last thing to do is uh take the car on the road uh let's drive it let's see if we feel a difference all right folks and we're back out on the road feeling the difference that the brake brace um makes on the vehicle and i gotta tell you even um just at lower speeds uh, driving outside of the, the parking lot um, you can you can feel a difference right away um, uh, I'm, I'm assuming that you'll feel the bigger difference in harder braking scenarios Let's see if I got no one behind me yeah you can feel it um, the weather's not great today it's been raining all day I don't know if you guys saw that in the video um, so tires are wet roads are not in the best condition but you can definitely feel the difference um, so thumbs up definitely definitely highly recommend this upgrade it's another quality part from 271 just like everything they make um, also another, another note um, wh whenever I ran to uh, Lowe's to, to pick up the nut that I had dropped in the, in the air box um, I did that with the strut bar off of the car and I, I forgot how smooth <laughs> and soft these cars were um, it, it's it's night and day if you've never driven a car without a strut bar um, and, and you want that sportier stiffer feel up front definitely highly recommend the 271 uh, front strut bar um, I didn't do a great job explaining what it does in, in my install video um, I'm not the greatest at explaining it um, I'm gonna link below uh, engineering explains a video on what a strut bar does um, for a better explanation but basically what it does is it stiffens up the front end so you don't have a lot of flex uh, whenever you're going over a corner and you you feel that at all types of speeds obviously you feel it a little bit more and in, in higher speed stuff but even just driving around the parking lot or going on a straight line um, you you definitely feel it um, and if you are thinking about it the 271 strut bar is probably the only one i would uh, recommend i know it's it's one of the pricier options but it's a one piece design uh, most of the other strut bars that you have in the market are three piece designs which defeat the purpose because you have flex which is what you're trying to not have um, so spend the money it's definitely worth uh, every penny um, and that's that's about it those are my thoughts on the vehicle that being said I don't know if you guys noticed uh, my car is sitting a little bit lower than it was on the last video that you guys saw if you follow me on Instagram you definitely know that I lowered my car I have um, Eibach 10th generation Eibach Sportline Springs on the vehicle and my next video is gonna be not an install because obviously they're already installed in the vehicle and I didn't do it myself but kind of a review um, of, of the setup and what my thoughts are and a few uh, camera shots so they guys can see what it looks like um, and on that note that's gonna be the very last video that you guys will see on this car um, after that video the very next Civic that you'll see on the channel is an orange one so with that being said thank you guys for watching um, get subscribed so you can see uh, what's what's coming next if you haven't done so already um, and I'll catch you guys in the next video